Hi there. Tangazo, tangazo. Tangazo, tangazo. Announcement, announcement. Did you know that you have a 100% chance of making it out of this life dead? I.e. you have no chance of making it out of this life alive. I know, I know. You so sure bet and you're like, oh wow, what are we talking about? What is it that I can put my money on? But let me just tell you uh, that this week's topic is not the most exciting but I can promise you it is a sure bet. There is a definite chance that every human being is making it out of this earth in one way. Either the Lord comes back or the more likely way we're leaving is in, um, I don't want to say a body bag, but in a wrapped up state. My name is Angie Obwaka and today we're going to be talking about something that you know is not common or not uh, exciting to talk about especially in our african context because for some reason we think that we're going to jinx ourselves or jinx somebody else if we're talking about death but you know what um there's a famous saying that says there's nothing certain in this life but death and taxes and because i don't want to talk about taxes let's talk about death the bible says that in uh, hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 for it is appointed for man once to die and then after that comes judgment the Bible also says um, in one of my recently um, uh, loved verses, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse, verse 2 says, It is better to go to a house of mourning than to go to a house of feasting, for death is the destiny of every man. The living should take this to heart. And if you've come, you've been able to make it this far in the video and you're not feeling um, triggered. Um, you might be wondering, why are we talking about this? Uh, well, recently, I personally have um, had the unfortunate privilege of being in this um, state of mourning or being in a house of mourning. Um, but this verse and, you know, a couple of the verses that I've talked about remind me that, you know what, this is the way for us all. Um, and death is not supposed to be one of those things that we fear, one of those things that we avoid, we don't speak about, you know, we are sort of tiptoeing around because this is the way of every man but it is one of those things because we know it's a sure bet because we know as long as we are alive we're going to die um we should uh be more prone or more postured to prepare for it the same way we would prepare for graduation for an exam would prepare for a wedding would prepare for um anything exciting or anything that we know is going to happen prepare for bad weather prepare for good weather prepare for a holiday we should also be of the people of the kind that prepare for the day that is coming for us for us all hebrews 9 27 says after death comes judgment are you ready for judgment are you ready to stand before god one day um it is not guaranteed that we will have 70 80 90 years it is not guaranteed that we'll have tomorrow it's not guaranteed that we're going to die tomorrow either um so it's not going to be this is not me um sort of um uh, jinxing you um, but the reality is that one day we will stand before God. Are you prepared to stand before God? Are you prepared to give an account for your life? Are you prepared to explain that, you know, God, with what you gave me, this is what I have done. Are you prepared for eternity with God? Because the Bible says in John 14, 6, that Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And so if it is a sure bet that we are going to die, each of us is going to die at the appointed time that God has for us at the time that has been ordained for us to exit the stage called life. Are you ready to meet your maker? Have you made the decision um, to spend eternity with him? Because the option and, the, and the, the onus is on you to make that decision now, here and now. As you listen to this video, as you have heard different messages over the different um, years and times of your life, are you ready to make the decision that, you know what, I want to bet on a real God who has made a real way, a real path by dying on the cross for me um, to be able to spend a real eternity in a real heaven forever and ever. Um, amen. And so, uh, yeah, even as I've been reflecting over the last couple of days, it's um, thinking about, okay, uh, the house of mourning, of course, it's not, the Bible does not say that um, it's bad to go to a house of feasting. It just says it's better because it sort of, you know, awakens us that, oh, we're not immortal. We're not going to be here forever. Um, but we are going to die at some point. But it's not for us to remain in the place of mourning. It is for us to be sobered up enough to make sure that on the day that our time is done on the life um in this side of eternity that we are ready for um for eternity with god and so that's my challenge to you today um in terms of this sure bet that we have for death have you placed a sure bet on where you are going to spend eternity god bless you we'll see you in the next video like comment subscribe share um if you have questions please put them in the comments below we'll be so so happy to be able to address those with you and for you
बाय